First, we started with 16 of the best bourbons. None over 50% ABV, no bottled in bonds. Each bourbon was then poured into its own 4 ounce sample bottle. Scott then assigned a number, 1 through 16, to each of the sample bottles, keeping a master list. Scott then handed, handed the bottles to Bart, who saw the number and assigned a random letter to each of the bottles, keeping his own list of what number became what letter. We then shuffled randomly the 16 4 ounce sample bottles and pulled them out four at a time to make four brackets of four samples. Stay tuned and find out which wins. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We are back with bracket three of four. Trace Amigos. The 16 Blind Bourbon Shootout. In front of us today is O, Ocean, C, Charles, J, Juliet, and D, Delta. Right? Yes, that is correct. Military, C, Charlie, not Charles. Right. It's Charlie. Military phonetic alphabet. Good old Charlie Foxtrot going there on you up go, in here. Charlie Foxtrot. Speaking of Charlie Foxtrot, Saturdays, this is the first time we've gotten together since we shot the 12 Hours of Boom. And I'm Great still success. A tired. Yeah, I'm still a little tired. Went off Neither really of well. Neither of us have shaved. Nope. <laughs> I'm still wearing the same clothes. Oh, hey. Not actually. It did go well. Yep. Phen phenomenally well. If you haven't seen it, if you didn't see it live, go watch some of those shows. They just tail in nicely. Mm -hmm. A lot of good guess. Excellent guess. I got 316, 311, 312, and 231. 238, 237, 236, 235, numerically but, ordered. I, you were getting ready to say Cousin Shane something. Can't really, Played a role as a doctor. Oh, yeah. And as a lead singer with the, the guitarist. The doctor is in the, the house. The doctor was in the house. Should we do these like alpha, like C? Should it be C, D, J, and O? No, because I lined these J, up the same way. So okay. uh, even if they're not, you know, because they're looking at the real names. Yeah, we still seeing, don't know. We don't know. These are double blind. Uh, I know you've already fed it in there, but yep. um, so we can go right in. We did that on purpose so I wouldn't get a chance to bloviate. Cordial cherries, O Ocean. Cinnamon. Cinnamon brown sugar. Brown sugar. You get a touch of maple, like a maple brown sugar. Vanilla is heavy and cream. So if I was going to do it like I should, typical bourbon notes. Good, good bourbon. <laughs> good bourbon nose. Hmm. It's got a warmth to it and a little bit of perfuminess. I see it's a little low. I might need a little bit more seed. See, kind of a weak nose. Got to get it way up in there. Mm, you're right. Almost like, uh, it almost has like a crisp cucumber smell to it. Crisp cucumber smell? Uh -huh. not, not the soggy, saggy ones. Well, yeah. Crisp but even cucumber. So cucumber, I don't think I've heard associated with a bourbon. I know, but that's what I got. Actually, well, maybe it's a rye. Could be. Rye forward, you mean? Yeah. I mean, just a little bit of rye. Some of the rye in the mash bill. But if I mean, when I first cucumber. nosed in, I first nosed in, I kind of got that clean, that yeah. clean, fresh, like, a, like I said, I don't know, like that fresh watered cucumber kind of. I nose. think you're right. Yep, a little bit of a rye in there. Yeah, there might be a touch of dill. That's interesting. Yep. But yeah, I've never got Definitely cucumber. weaker, though, than the O. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I've never gotten cucumber. Let's go, go right back to the O. Let's okay. see. Okay. Right back to the O. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Hold on. I got something different there. No, it's vanilla. Heavy, heavy vanilla. It's much more aromatic. It is. But it's a, uh, it reminds me of the candied vanilla, like the candied vanilla dipstick for those little dip candy things. Back of the hand. Heavy exhalation. <laughs> what do you do if you do that in a... Never mind. Thank you. You self sense Woo! Hold on. This is Jay. Okay. That nose stands oh, wow. out. That does. It's huh. not just richer and more developed, it smells like. 
That's probably the hard part with most of these bourbons, where a lot of your bourbon notes are the same as doing distinguishing noses. Well, I get a toffee. Yeah. A nice sweet toffee. This is delicious nose. It is a little bit, little bit darker nose. I might get a little bit of fudge. Hmm. I think I get a little bit of a real sweet, rich fudge. That's interesting. So toffeed, toffeed fudge. Wow, caramel, delicious. toffee, caramel fudge. Mm. Hmm. I mean, a lot of uh, uh, like a candy. And that's Jay. Wow, that's delicious. Back in the hand. <laughs> Whole unground coffee bean. Yep. <laughs> I'm on the D, D Delta. <laughs> it's got a really great bourbon nose as well. So the distinct difference though. Nothing nothing distinct difference. Just good nose. See, I get like a carbonated Ch cola. Cherries. Vanilla cream. You know what? Uh, about three weeks ago, we made a uh, vanilla root beer float, the boy and I. And that's what I'm getting here. I get the vanilla cream combined with that kind of uh, carbonated soda, and I'm getting a vanilla root beer float. I'm trying to think. You know what? We didn't use root beer. That's right. We used Pepsi. That's what I'm getting here. We used hmm. Pepsi because he didn't like root beer. So a we Pepsi did a, ice cream float? Yep, we did a vanilla, and it was vanilla bean. We did a vanilla bean Pepsi float, and that's what I'm getting here. That vanilla is, bean? Uh -huh. Good. Vanilla bean, and then that carbonated kind of cola. That is exactly it. I just hmm. went back there. And then, guess what? The boy took about five or six sips and said, I don't like it. <laughs> he didn't like, he actually put way too much, um, I think he had, I can't even remember, I think he did way too much soda and all it did was give him a, you know. There might be a little, little bit of a rye maybe on O as well. C seems to still be the lightest nose. And O is a little florally. Yes. I would agree. I, I got that when I was nosing the O. Wow. I like that J. Mm-hmm. J. With that fudge. Wow. Yep. So. All right. Yeah, the O. I've said enough. I've said enough. Yeah. You're right. It's got a fl it's got a flowery floralness to it. We could talk about my upside down shirt and the near areola viewing. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> what episode? Ten. Ten. That was with Drinking Caveman. Yep, Drinking Caveman. Oh. Hours of Boom, episode ten. Or O. Yeah. O seems to be fairly. Or, or sorry. Go ahead. No. Go. Or you're done with Drinking Caveman. Yes. Okay. No, don't drink just Cape Man. I just, we were too clinical there for a moment. Yeah. And I wanted to like juice it up. I wanted to sweeten it up with my areola story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. You, you bet. I figured I'd go right there. Oh, it was really creamy. Um, Do you get nothing. a little nut? I get nut. No. Roasted. Um, Roasted almond. Usual bourbon notes with it. Nothing really standing out. Well, I mean, as we go down the line here, we'll see. I mean, it's, um, it's uh, mid-range on the ABV, I would guess, a 40... 43, maybe 45. It's not higher. I get an astringency in the mouth. I get a roasted almond. Doesn't quite jive with the nose I got. Um, the dryness probably surprises me the most here. It's wicking. It's wicking away. Almost like when, in a good way, but when you're at the dentist and they pack the cotton in there. Yeah. Or like when you're mm -hmm. getting the films done and you got that darn cardboard and you get a little wood. Or paper flavor. That's kind of what I get right now. A little, little bit of oak, a little bit of astringency, a yeah. yeah. little bit of spice. A 
Let's see how it compares to the others. Hmm. Moving right into C. C doesn't seem that much different. Now C was the lightest nose. I get more of the barrel. Lower ABV. I've got an oakier barrel charness, but it's like a light char. Rounding out with a uh, with a caramel cream. Yeah. That caramel cream mm -hmm. lingers a lot longer. It dropped off with the O. Here it's lingering like a like a Brock's candy. A, those little caramel, not a not a chew, but like a hard candy. Interesting. Um, again, nothing jumping out at me. Those two are pretty comparable. It seems like the O and the C. See, I don't get the same astringency, and I get a slight more, it's a sweeter sensation for me. Hmm. Interesting. A little bit of a honey, it does, honey sweetness yeah, with an yeah. O. Oh, no, o. that's not what I got. But I do get a lighter ABV. I do feel like mm -hmm. C's much, I feel like it's maybe a 40. I think they're both pretty similar, pretty close. Hmm. 40, 43. If it's higher, it's hiding it pretty well. Anything's possible. Possible. We were out running around doing some whiskey shopping. Yes, we were. It's hot. Almost 100 degrees here. Very hot. I had a big jug of water. It's almost gone. Holy moly, you did. And you were like, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I even gave you whiskey, a bigger glass. Whiskey shopping takes it out of you. It here. does, yeah. Yeah, he, he he's an enabler, basically. You were like, oh, <laughs> get that, get that. And I just point stuff out. Yeah, like you're that. like, ooh. Which is good because okay. I'll go buy something new. But like we already reviewed that, we reviewed that on a on a Tuesday. We filmed in August in Ot sixteen. I'm like, what the hell? How do what you got me today that? was you didn't recognize one you bought literally either last week or two right. weeks ago. That's true. I didn't hold on to it too long. You've had a couple drams out of it. You told me you really liked it. I did the Ben Rio. I handed it right. Ten off year to Ben Rio Curiositas. Right. Yeah, I've got to say, and then you were like, you were thinking of picking it up. You're like, hmm. No, I was just I was looking at it. I mm. knew I had it. You already bought that one. Yeah, I know. I, there's a whole world Ooh. of scotch I get lost. Okay, Jay's nose. Back to the nose. I've mm -hmm. gone to palate yet. It's all. It it blows the other two away. Sure. O and C. All right. This is the one where I get the cocoa. Yeah, this one had the caramel real fudge cocoa and, fudge. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my. <laughs> I get a burst of flavor right away, but I, that cocoa is lingering in there for me. I don't know if it's a product of what was in the nose still uh, influencing. Isn't that something? It is. Now I'm getting a little bit of astringency with that one as well. Probably bit. as much as the other, but mm. that one is definitely more oaky. I mean, uh, a rich, rich oak. Isn't that something? Fudge. Yeah. Mid forty-five huh. percent, I would guess. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm already um no, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not supposed to tell yeah, you. Yeah, don't influence I although I think you were gonna dump the first two off to the side. That one's definitely Well isn't that something? That I know, is, I know. You are you are a man standing in your own field. Yeah, and I'm not. I won't influence you by saying those two are out. No, you won't. Yeah, because I'm a man standing in my own field in my underwear, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and they're tidy whities and there's people mocking me, and I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. Maybe it's a dare. That is really something. Um, on I, I get a fudge on the nose, but I get more of a dry powdered cocoa or something it's almost like uh, when you get a real good cocoa and you're going to make maybe it's not a good cocoa but you put it into the 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 cup to mix it up maybe it's just the pre-done packages and i get that kind of powdered sensation now d your d 
your D's nose stands out a lot as well. It's a good thing A wasn't in here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that took me to vanilla bean cocoa. I'm or, or, sorry, vanilla bean cola. And that's still there. And I almost got to say, I mean, this is a little more prominent. I'm really, if I just mm. judge nose, it's definitely one of these two on the nose. That one's a rich vanilla caramel cream. Mm. A little bit of coffee. Wow. That one's got a little bit some more darker notes to it as well. Good bourbons, both of those two. Not, I mean, these weren't bad. J and D both are standing up saying, look at me, look over here. Hey, you two, look up here, look up here. Mine are a little deeper. They're like, hey. <laughs> That's hey. a movie quote. Really? Mm -hmm. Don't know it. Does that <laughs> shock you? <laughs> mm. Okay, still on D. Mmm, that one is good. That one's good. That saturates your taste buds. Good bourbon notes. A little bit of an astringency with it. It's, I can feel it clinging on to the taste buds, not wanting to let go. I agree. I don't think I've described it totally, have I? I don't you described I it enough. I don't think I described the taste at all. Mmm. <laughs> D's finish really hangs in there. It reminds me of the old the old movie with um, I think it was Rick Moranis, Honey I Shrunk the Kids, where he like you know. You just watched that with the kids. Oh, did you? Yeah. Wasn't there at one point he was like in the mouth or something and swallowed? He's like going down the pipe to the stomach. Was that that one? Mm, could have been or, Honey that. I was, no, that was kids too. Maybe. No, that was. Uh, I'm thinking of. Uh, the one where they're in the body then in like the little uh, capsule yeah that's what i'm thinking i've of. read that book um i get a dustiness a dusty mm -hmm. wood a um that sweet tannin um it's like a a dry salted caramel with, uh, I thought there was going to be more vanilla. Sea there's salt. a touch of vanilla. Sea yeah. salt caramel. I just get salted, but, but uh, there's a touch of caramel in the finish. And you're right, the finish is kind of lingering here. Mm -hmm. Where you can continue to get that caramel in the finish. That's probably the most pleasing thing there. I like it all, but I mean, I'm, I'm leaning toward that. Go back to J. Now, I have not killed off O and C and J. We're going to try them with water each. But I will concur with you that I believe the runoff here is really going to be between D and J. J has a lot more sweetness to it. I'm going to let these open up. Brown sugar sweetness. Okay. Maple syrup. Like I just raised my bet. D has spice. D has a spiciness to it. You got like a black pepper. Removing O and C. <laughs> so I, I'm concurring with you. I didn't want to rush to it. I thought maybe mm. water, maybe it'll open it up. Change it. I've got my favorite of those two. Mm. It's going to be a little tougher. I like the nose of both again. No need to tell you what the nose is on both of them. I've been noticing in some of them. I'll repeat it three, four times. You don't need that. But both of them are intriguing for different reasons. Sweetness, savory chocolateiness. I was, I was able to, I did not feel bad eliminating the O and C right away. 
No need to feel guilty. Yeah. And I thought about going back to him, and then I thought, why? If I'm wrong, let me know. Well, it's your taste buds, your palate. If you're going to err, err boldly. I'm, that's my saying. I did that on the 12 hours of boom. Yep. By wearing no. a shirt. Well, yes. that. you yeah. got to admit, that was a bold move. I took some heat. <laughs> funny heat. But apparently, I couldn't see it. The comments were blowing up. Uh-huh. Blowing up. A lot of you people. You were sweating, too. You were, I mean, people were commenting about you sweating, if you remember. Yes. Well, there was a sheen on me. We were working I didn't think hard. it was that. Well, yeah, we, I mean, we were hustling, getting right. up going and going. And we had more people to in show. here. Not that that should mean we only had three more people. Three. <laughs> in this, in it's not big like room. the room's packed with 30 people in here. Yeah, it is a big room. Um, yeah, I don't know why I was sweating so much. I did put a bunch of red peppers on my pizza, but that shouldn't have done it. No. What are you thinking? Mm. What are you thinking? <clears throat> These are tough. Mm. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Get those, break out those oat cakes. Had to pause there. Phone calls kept coming in. Must have been important. Family first, and I decided I would cleanse my palate before I make a determination. Hmm. Fill time, brother. Fill time. I was... I realized in the first episode of the 12 Hours of Boom, the Balvini Ton 1509 Batch 3 was delicious. I jumped in. I gave it a score. Bart goes, I don't score. No. I need more. Yeah. So I kind of gave him some crap. I was like, if you don't know what this is, you know, get out of the kitchen. Steadfast, he said, not scoring it, not scoring it. Which goes against his motto, if you're going to err, err boldly. Give it a score. You can backtrack. My point would be... You're like, you wouldn't even want to put your toe in the water. But like, no, I'm scared. See, you're missing it, though. By saying I'm not scoring it, that's a bold act. And if I've erred, mm -mm. I've erred boldly. Mm -mm. You're saying... Boldly, 82. Just give a score. Yep, 82. I Air. didn't have a score. Air. I wanted to spend more time. So... If you're going to err, boldly. I've acted boldly. The, if you're going to err, err yeah, boldly. Okay, but not giving you the score is mm -hmm. not an error. No. That's plain that and safe. The whole message of if you're going to err, err boldly is about making a decision. It's about when you waffle and don't, eh, well, well, maybe, I'll give you an example. Waffling would be, it's a 92 plus or minus 3. No. <laughs> that is not erring boldly. When I tell you I'm not scoring it, I've made a decision, and I've boldly pronounced it. That's not making the decision. It is. I'm not scoring it. I flat out am that's, not going to score it. I haven't spent enough time. Being chicken. No. That was a bold statement. And I took flat from you from it, which distinguishes it as that, and I stuck. Mm -hmm. Now, had I been that's like... That's not airing, um, It's a... That's not airing. Mm, uh, yeah, it is. Because you're you saying air? it's wrong How that I didn't score. How do you err to not score? You're saying it's wrong that I didn't score it. That mm -hmm. I had enough of it. It goes against right. if you're going to err, err boldly. You're saying I'm wrong and not scoring it. So there could be an error there, but I boldly made a decision not to score it. Which you're saying is wrong. So, if I erred by not scoring it, I at least did so boldly. What do you guys think? You let us know. because Thank you. Yeah. He should have You can't admit it's bold. If I would have been like, I'll score later, and then later not, it comes no, around, not, like, I'm still would, not scoring, I don't have enough. I don't not have enough. scoring it is bold? Maybe I'm, it could be, yeah. Yeah. No. Right. Mm -mm. It'd be easy. That's the easy way out. It would be easy. No, I'm not scoring it. It would be easy to taste. How about a rough range? No, I'm the not Balvenie it. 1509, the Ton 1509 Batch 3 cast strength that everybody's like gushing over. It'd be very easy for me to just say 92 calling. Call mm -hmm. it good. Yeah. I'm like, you know, I want to taste it some more. That's not, that's easy. That's that would error. be, that's that would be no air at all. Because no one's going to fault you. That's enough. Thank you. <laughs> you did a good job bringing that up. Like Bart Denny wants to stick his toe in the water. He's scared of it. Might get a little, it in. little minnow might swim up there and Stuck nibble it at it. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, I think it takes a lot more guts to say I just tried the Balvenie Ton 1509 Batch 3. I haven't 
not scoring it. That takes nothing. No, that's tough. How was your car drive? I'm not saying. You. Look at you. How was your vacation? I'm not saying. I said I needed more time with it. <laughs> you made this snap decision. Hey, how was your wedding day? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bold. That's bold, right? That is bold. That would be bold. <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be bold. That was your birthday party. D wins. I'm not saying. <laughs> D. Now you push J forward. Uh -uh, these are out. Buddy. Oh, that's out. I'm taking J. Mm. I like J. I like that's, them both. That's two that we've differed that's on tough. now. Just barely. We kind that's of think tough. We, I think I'm the, glad uh, you picked it because I want to see it mm. advance further. I really do because those are tough. I think um, these these both distinguish themselves above O and C. J was D was a little bit more astringent, a little bit more oak, little spicy. J was was good, solid, rich, smooth bourbon notes, and a little sweeter. Mm. Both noses are delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the both nose is both, both. The nose on J and D stood out above C and O. Yeah, so. Can't go wrong. Whatever those two are, you can't go wrong with either I one. I don't think so either. No. And I think all of these that we have in the shootout, well, the Van Winkle is in here somewhere. It's going to be the most expensive one if you can find it. But for the most part, these are all in a 30 or 25 to $50 range. Mm. So, or in cheaper. I chose J, you chose D. We'll see you in bracket four. Boom! Boldly. Boldly. <laughs> Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. You say scotch it, scotch gods? Wait. Scotch it, you scotch gods! Cilantro. Dice. Dice.